You cannot do this to me. You can't leave me like this. I'm sorry, love, but I'm a free spirit. I cannot be tied down. So you, you just you just do this to me and you leave? Yeah, I am. It's your problem now, Fiona. Bye. John? John? You ass! <laughs> what? Doctor! Hello there, Miss Chase. Come on, then. Hope the time home was giving you time to reflect. And also, spark ideas for where to go next. Now, where will it be, Fiona? Doctor, there is one thing you should know about- Familiar paces of the past, surprising ones in the future. Doctor, this is very important. You would not believe what happens in 2016. Nightmare of a year. Doctor, please. What is it? Oh. Yeah. You're... pregnant. Sorry for not noticing. Kind of flattered you didn't. How long has it been? I'm still in my second trimester. No, since I left you off. Oh, uh, about a year? So I leave you for a year and you do this? Hey, talk to the guy who up and left me. I'm sorry. Sounds like a charming lad. Who is he? John Jackson. And this guy just left after he got you. Yeah, says he is a free spirit, just my luck. Hey, you'll be fine. What about your family? They won't help. I'm all alone. No, you're not. I need a trip. Take me somewhere so I can forget everything. I don't think that's such a good idea. Why not? I traveled with someone a long time ago, and she was pregnant whilst on board the TARDIS. So? There were complications. The exposure to the time vortex caused so much to happen to my friend and her baby. I will not risk that with you. So what now? You can't stay with me for the next four months. You you got things to do, people to save. What if I stopped? Is it about time I stay to help someone like they stay for me? Doctor, whilst I appreciate the offer, I'll be fine. It's just four months, trust me, when I say you do not want to be near me during this time anyway. Are you sure? The universe needs you. You need me. I have a duty of care. I know you do, but Doctor, I'll be here when you're back. There is so much out there and you can't stay for one person. I won't allow you to. Okay. What hospital? What? Fiona, do we forget that this is a time machine? I can simply just pop on over to your due date. I don't know my due date. I'll figure it out. You sure? Fiona, I calculated the exact structure of my home planet so I can place it in a pocket dimension. To be fair, there were 13 versions of me, but I can easily estimate when this young one is to be. Okay then. I'm registered with St. Joseph's. You sure? Yes. Fiona, if I missed a hospital, then I would go past the established events. So if I turn up St. Joseph's and you're not there, then I would miss the birth altogether. It is St. Joseph's. Okay, then. Off you go. Make a baby. I'll see you in four seconds. Four months? And I say potato. Go on. I'll see you soon, Fiona. Goodbye, Doctor. It's not goodbye. It's four months. Still, I'll see you there. Okay, then. See you later, then. Okay, then. Second trimester, St. Joseph's. So that make our due date on the 1st of March, 1997. Simple. Hello there, I'm looking for Fiona Chase. And what's your name? I'm a doctor, not to be mistaken for a doctor. Just a friend here for the big day. Oh, I'm so sorry. Why are you sorry? This is a happy day. There were a few complications with the birth. What's so complicated? I mean, she's having a baby! Sir, please remain calm. Where's Fiona? What happened? I'm afraid... Miss Chase has passed away. What? What? 
We did everything we could. We took her for an emergency C-section, but she wasn't responding. The baby is fine, but we, we lost her. Please, don't say that. I am so sorry for your loss. Potato. Go on, I'll see you soon, Fiona. Goodbye, Doctor. It's not goodbye. It's four months. Still, I'll see you there. Okay, then. See you later, then. The baby's okay to see now, if you want. I'm not family. We can't get in touch with any of Fiona's family to let them know of her passing, or of the baby. Oh, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Don't you want to see him? Here he is. Careful. He might be a bit fragile after the operation. What's his name? Nathan. Nathan Chase. What a lovely name. Miss Chase did give him that name. It was the last thing she said before she passed, actually. He's not crying. It is a bit peculiar, but not unheard of. After all that's happened... He still doesn't cry. I truly am sorry for your loss, sir. I gotta go. What about Nathan? I'm sure he'll be fine. That's the thing. Without a guardian, Nathan might end up in a care home. And Miss Chase did put you down as godfather. But she wasn't religious. It's not about what you believe. It's who you believe in. I'm guessing she had a lot of faith in you, sir. I can't. I'm not the guardian this child deserves, or the one he needs. I'll find his father. There is no father on record, not even a surname. How will you find him? I got my resources. Listen, whatever you're selling, I'm not buying it. I'm not here to sell you anything. Then why are you here? I'm a friend of Fiona's. Christ, is that woman after child support again? Look, I tell you, she has another thing coming. She's dead! Oh, God. Uh, and the baby is, uh, is... Alive. In need of a guardian, actually. Nope, not happening. John, if you don't take him, he will go into your home. And we both know that's no life for a child. A child is not my problem. Now get out. No, you listen to me. I've seen the worst of humanity. I've seen of worst every civilization, actually. But I have never in all my life met such a coward. Yes, coward. You'd rather live a life of comfort than take responsibility for your own son. For Fiona's son. Listen, to tell you the truth, Fiona is not the first bird I've knocked up. I have child support coming left, right and centre. I can't afford to look after Fiona's child. I'm just a free spirit. You sicken me. And listen here. If you care about this child, how about you take him? I won't lose any sleep over it. It's not as simple as that. I can't just stop what I'm doing to take care of him. Well, it's you or the boy gets sent to a care home. Hey, we're not finished here. We are. <laughs> ah. What now? I can't, I just... can't. There's so much evil out there. What if I become... distracted? I can't stay for one person. There's a 
time to stop, to stay for one person as they do for me. I mean, I've had fatherly experience in the past. Look how great Scarlet turned out. Am I doing this? Am I going to actually do this? So, according to the documents left by Fiona, you're assigned as godfather to Nathan Chase. Yes, glad to know she believed in me. Indeed. So with this information, we're more than happy to hand Nathan over to you. Amazing. But, I need to ask, do you have experience with children? I do. Well, as long as you're aware of their responsibilities. I am. Okay, so Tara's trying to blow up the moon. Not my best days. Emergency destruct. Now activated. Go on, how can this get any worse? Seriously? I've just read this boy like 12 bedtime stories. It's been eight months. I thought I would have a handle on this boy by now. Locate the Time Lord scam. Sonta ha! Sonta ha! Sonta ha! I think that's my time to leave. Sonta ha! Okay, let's be seeing you. Well, you don't need a change. So thanks for that little bit of mercy, I suppose. Hey, what's the waterworks, little one? You need feeding? No? I got just a thing. star is being born every 0.1 second, creating a soothing and calming melody. As Nathan, I can't promise you a normal life, but I can try and give you a happy one, and a safe one. Your mother inspired me to do the impossible, and now I pass that on to you, as your mother's final gift to you. As I'll never be the guardian you want, but I can try to be the one you need. Yeah, buddy. You sleep. As the bad days can wait for later. And you will always be protected. Good night, Nathan. Goodbye, Fiona. Fiona.